Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I'll be sharing with you how to start nylon production business in Nigeria. On this channel, we talk about business and making the money. If you are somebody that loves business and making the money, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video so that you won't miss out. To my returning subscriber, thank you so much. God bless you. I really appreciate it. How to start nylon production business in Nigeria? Nylon production business is a very profitable business in Nigeria because the demand for nylon is of a widespread. Nylon is used for different purposes. Nylon is used by trailer to sell goods. Nylon is used by manufacturer to package goods. Nylon is used by boutique. Nylon is used to dispose waste. Nylon is very important to us. It will be very difficult to see any family that does not use nylon. So nylon is very, very essential. And nylon is very important to our day-to-day -day life. So before you can start up this business, there are some requirements. So I'll be sharing with you step by step on how you can start up this business. Number one step is get the basic training. This is a very important aspect in this business. Without you getting the basic training, it will be very difficult for you to excel in this business. It will be very difficult for you to start up this business. So the basic training is very, very necessary. You can go to somewhere the manufacturer, Lylum, go there and learn for one month or two months, depending on your learning capability. After doing that, you can kickstart your business. So our next step is carry out research. Research is very, very important before you start up any business. Research will enable you to know how you can start up this business, the type of equipment that is needed to start up this business, the capital that is needed to start up this business, your target market in this business. Without you making a proper research, it will be very difficult for you to say. So production of nylon is not an exception. So you need to make a proper research. By making a proper research, it will enable you to be more profitable in this business. Your target market is very, very important. Your target market, these are the customers that you are going to sell your goods to. You need to make a proper research of those your target customers. They are very, very important. You need to satisfy them. You need to know how to satisfy this your target market. By making proper research, you'll be able to know how to satisfy your target market. Your target market in this type of business is pharmacy traders laundry eatery and restaurants supermarkets pure water production company those are your target markets and you need to satisfy them so you need to produce depending on the kind of nylon you want to produce some people produce nylon for for granite some people produce nylon for packaging of things so it all depends on the nylon you want to produce but your target market, it is very important that you satisfy them. Without you satisfying them, it will be very difficult for you to excel in this business. So you choose your target market very well and go for it and make sure you satisfy them 100%. So our next step is get a business name. Your business name is very, very important in any business. Your business name is your identity. So you need to get a unique business name. Don't just go and get any other business name. Your business name needs to be sweet. So it is important that you go for a business name that is very, very sweet. Don't go for other people's business name. Look for your own business name. A business name that does not exist in that particular brand. So you look for your business name, very sweet and unique business name because it is your identity. So your identity needs to be sweet and unique. So our next step is register your business name. Now that you have your unique business name already, the next stage is for you to register your business name. You can register your business name with CAC. Look for any CAC office close to you. Go there and register your business name. It is very good that you register your business name very early. Know that after you have struggled to build your brand, for a long time now, you find out that somebody else is using your business name. It will be very, very painful to you. That is why it is very necessary for you to register your business name very early so that you won't encounter this type of problem. Once you are register your business name, then you are good to go. So our next step is get your startup capital. 
this stage is very, very necessary. This stage will determine if you are going to start in a smaller scale or larger scale. But it all depends on your capital. If you are going to start in a larger scale, it is fine. If you are going to start in a smaller scale, it is also fine. If you are going to start in a larger scale, you will make profit. If you are going to start in a smaller scale, you also make profit. But note that the person that invested very big in this business we earn larger profit in this business. It is very, very important that you start somewhere. But this business is all about consistency. Consistency and determination. Focus it is very important if you really want to excel in this business. So our next step is get a location. This aspect is very, very important in this business. If you really want to excel, make sure you take note of this. Don't go and rent shop in a place that is not visible. Visibility is the key. Let the place be accessible to people. More accessible the place is, more people will patronize you. Don't go and rent a shop in a place that is not accessible to people. By doing that, your business will crush down and you won't make any profit from this business. So it is very good that you start in a very good note. Look for a good location. But if you don't have enough capital to rent a location, you can always start from home. Since you are starting from home, you need extra hard work. Because your shop is not accessible. You are starting from home. It's not accessible to people. So you need to make extra advertisement. Tell people around you that you are into Lilo production. By doing that, people will patronize you. But advertisement is very, very important since you are starting from home. Even if you are starting in a good location, advertisement is also very necessary. But since you are not starting in a good location, it is very important that you make extra advertisement so that you can be able to make good profit because you don't have enough capital to rent a good location for now so make sure you make the proper advertisement by doing that you will earn a lot from this business so our next step is buy and install your line of production machine this stage is very very essential your type of line you want to produce determine the type of machine you want to buy if you are starting in higher density or lower density. It depends on the type of nylon you want to produce. So it is very necessary that you know the type of nylon you want to produce since you know the customer, you your target market already. So you know the type of nylon and you go for that type of machine. So our next step is employ competent staff. This stage is also very, very necessary. If you don't employ competent staff, they are going to destroy your business for you. So you go for key competent staff, staff that already have experience in this line of production. If you go for this particular competent staff, it will help your business to grow. But if you don't go for competent staff, it will drain your business and it will make your business to fall. They will produce rubbish nylon. So it's very necessary that you go for competent staff that will help your business to grow. If you are able to follow this step, you'll be able to be successful in this business. Thank you so much, guys. This is how you can start your nylon production business in Nigeria. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please, thank you.